Good day everyone. Bob M, the oxygen farmer here. Oh, I just wanted to uh, uh, put together a quick little video on honey. Uh, I recently purchased some honey from Tasmania uh, called Leatherwood Honey. Um, do a Google search on it, get some. Uh, and earlier this evening I was watching one of the Aussie channels um, Flower Folk Farm um, who did their um, a quick video of their beehives to uh, uh, to deal with the issues surrounding our current lockdown um, and it was uh, what inspired me to uh, cobble this together so if you like it give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed and want to see some more content from me then uh, subscribe click uh, that and click the notification bell and uh, I will keep making videos. They're a bit intermittent at the moment because of uh, uh, I'm preoccupied relocating. Um, but eventually, once I get there, I will have um, the uh, plans to uh, have bees there myself. Uh, at the moment, I don't. Um, but it is one of those crucial things for our uh, prepping pantry for a sweetener um, and just for its uh, plain straight goodness. Um, So, what we've got here is a bit of harvesting and I've got this next bit in for Dave from Prepping Essentials in the UK because it shows the correct uh, mounting for the tap on the extractor. Um, just something that I didn't comment on when I watched his video on um, honey extraction or assembling his extractor. Um, anyway, watching this raises a whole lot of issues about bees and how we need them and how they are threatened. It's one of the motivators for me for not using pesticides. It is, oh, there's the tap, look at that tap and the way it opens so that it doesn't run over itself. Um, yeah, if the bees go, we go because they are one of our major pollinators. They're not the only pollinator, but they are one of the major pollinators. So without that we have no crops. So. Uh, I'm not going to say anything more, I'm just going to leave this for you to watch and to enjoy.